Hello everyone, I welcome you to this new video on the channel. In this video, I am going to teach you how you can create a dual boot machine by installing Kali Linux side by side your Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So now before going any further, I would like to recommend you to pack up all your important data that you have uh, on your uh, C drive because in these processes anything can go wrong so to be on the safe side just back up all your data uh, important data that you have onto any external hard drive or a pen drive or a CD DVD whatever you have so just back it up uh, and be on the safe side so now let's start with the process so now I'm assuming that you have uh, only one drive on your system that is the C drive and you have Windows installed on uh, this drive so we are going to shrink this drive and create another drive uh, and we are going to install Kali Linux onto that drive so if you have another drive or another partition already created then uh, you will need to empty that partition uh, back up all the data that you have on that drive and uh, format that drive and then you have to right click on this pc and go to manager and then uh, in disk manager and then in here uh, whatever drive you have d or e you have to just right click on that drive and you will need to delete that volume now this is the primary drive so the delete option is not there but uh, you will need to delete that extra drive now here i just have this uh, c drive that is the primary drive on which i have windows installed so now i'm just going to right click on this c drive and select shrink volume so now here as you can see uh, the total uh, size is this and the size of uh, shrink space uh, that will be available is this which is uh, automatically uh, specified here so if uh, you want to change this you can change it I'm just going to go with uh, the default which is given here and click on shrink so as you can see here the shrinked volume is this that is now uh, currently unallocated now I'm not going to allocate this I'm just going to keep it unallocated and this is our C drive so so as you can see here uh, this is our C drive of 116 GB and uh, this 115 GB is the unallocated shrink space so uh, we have successfully created this uh, space now I'm going to close this and now we have to create our bootable uh, USB drive to install Kali Linux onto uh, the new shrinked volume that we just created so I have already downloaded the Kali Linux ISO file now I am going to give all the links of all the softwares that I am going to use in this video so you can go in the description and get them from there so now I am going to insert my 16 GB pen drive so as you can see here this is my 16 GB USB drive so now to create a bootable USB I am going to use this software and that is Win32 Disk Imager so this is uh, the software so here as you can see we have to first select the ISO file so I am going to click on this icon and here as you can see we have our Kali Linux ISO file so I'm going to select it and 
click on open so this is our ISO file and here is uh, the portable pen drive that I have inserted so now I'm going to click on write and uh, the process of uh, creating this bootable pen drive is started. So the bootable pen drive is created. So now I'm going to restart the PC and start with the Kali Linux installation process. So now here I am in the boot menu. So from here I am going to select my bootable pen drive. Okay, so here we are uh, in the Kali Linux boot menu. Now from here we are going to uh, start our installation. Here I am going to select advanced options and from there uh, i'm going to select this first option that says install in graphical mode okay so here uh, you have to select the language so i'm going to go with english and click on continue then here uh, I'm going to select uh, the country then we have to configure the keyboard here so I'm just going to go with this first option Now here uh, we have to configure the network so I'm going to select this uh, wireless Ethernet now here uh, we have to select the Wi-Fi router that we uh, want to connect to now here uh, we have to choose the type of connection so if uh, it is an open network or whether uh, we have to give a password to connect to our router so there is a password so i'm going to select this option now here uh, we have to specify the password for our wireless router that we want to connect to okay so now here uh, we have to specify the host name now host name uh, is the name with which uh, this Kali Linux system will be identified onto a network so I'm going to write Kali here now uh, if you want then you can specify the domain name uh, for this I'm just going to leave this empty now here uh, you have to create a root password now uh, this is uh, the password that uh, you will require to log in uh, when you want to log in with uh, your 
root uh, user id or when you want an administration uh, when you want to access the system uh, as an administrator then you will require this uh, password now here uh, we are going to create the partitions uh, for Kali Linux to install onto now I'm going to select the manual partitioning mode and click on continue now here as you can see that uh, we have this uh, free space now this free space is uh, what we created uh, in our Windows 10 uh, in the disk manager uh, so this is our primary partition uh, on which we have our windows installed that is the c drive so this uh, 125 gb is the c drive and this free space is the one we uh, shrinked uh, from this uh, primary drive so i'm going to select this and click on continue and here uh, I'm going to select this first option that says create a new partition and here I'm going to specify the size of this partition and I want it to be uh, 120 GB and I'll click on continue and I wanted uh, in the beginning so I'll just let it select it and click on continue and here uh, you have to see that uh, the use as option has this uh, ext4 uh, selected and the mount point should be this slash now this slash means the root so all the root directories will be in this uh, partition now you have to uh, select this option that is done setting up partition and click on continue so here as you can see uh, this is our uh, main primary partition now here as you can see that uh, this 4 gb of space is left now uh, with this space i'm going to create a swap partition and a bootable partition so here i have 3.5 gb size specified for the swap partition now i want it uh, in the end So we have to double click on this and select this option that says swap area and then uh, I'm going to select this and click on continue. So we have our swap area. Now uh, I have this 500 MB of space left. So in this uh, 500 MB of space, I'm going to select and create a system partition. Now this, uh, as you can see, as I have selected the EFI system partition, the boot flag says on. So this partition uh, will be bootable and here uh, in this, uh, we are going to install the bootloader so these three partitions are uh, now created now uh, i'm going to select this uh, last option that is uh, finish partitioning and write changes to disk and click on continue so here also you can see 
the three partitions uh, that we just created now uh, we have to write changes into these partitions so I'm going to click on yes and continue and the partitions are uh, getting created and the installation is started now here uh, if you want to choose a network mirror then uh, you can do that i'm not going to use any network mirrors here for the configuration of package so i'm uh, going to select no and continue So here the grub bootloader is uh, getting installed onto our hard drive. so the installation is successfully finished now i'm going to click on continue okay so now here you can see that uh, the first option is kali linux and here then after we have the windows boot manager so let's first uh, select this uh, kali linux and boot into our kali linux system and here uh, we have to log into our Kali Linux system so I'm going to uh, log in with the root user so I have specified the username as root then I'm going to click on next and then here uh, we have to specify the username that we created uh, in the installation process for the root user so I'm going to write that password and click on sign in so here uh, we have our Kali Linux successfully installed so now I'm going to restart and now we are going to boot into our Windows 10 system so here I am going to select this option that says Windows Boot Manager
so here we have uh, our windows 10 so here we are in our windows 10 system so this is how you can create a dual boot system so if you like this video then click on that thumbs up button and if you want to see more of these videos then click on that red subscribe button and that's it for this video see you in the next one